Vamos a la playa. my channel if you've been here before welcome back and also be sure to subscribe hit the button below if you haven't done so and then there's a button to the right go ahead and hit that as well that's that little bell that'll notify you when we have a new video which we do have every Saturday so most of the videos I've been putting out are from past previous trips over the last 10 years and I'm about three weeks out from uh, starting to go live with some of these when I say live on location presently uh, videos and I'm still trying to decide and see what's open, but let's go ahead and talk about one of my favorite countries that is real close to my home country of the United States. All right, the country I've been to many a times, which borders the United States, that is just north of Guatemala and Belize, is Mexico. It's part of North America, so it is one thing that people make a mistake, they say they're from America, but actually anything in North America and South America is from America. Wow. So just keep that in mind if you're traveling in any of those countries, uh, let them know that you're from the United States. Um, it's just a kind of a respect thing. One of the questions I get asked quite often is, where can we travel in 2020 with everything being closed down? Uh, right now, there's just a few places, uh, Mexico being one of them for 2020. Uh, Colombia just opened up, uh, Brazil, Ecuador, and these are some of the countries that are in the uh, warmer climates during the winter. So they're the ones I'm considering going to in about three weeks or so. Also, be sure to stay to the end. I'm going to talk a little bit about the safety of Mexico. You know, is it safe to travel throughout Mexico and what cities and what uh, parts of the country are safe? Right now, there are uh, several bloggers down there uh, presently in Mexico, covering numerous, numerous uh, beach towns and cities. What else? Um, bald and Balder, um, uh, Harold Balder, and then Bald and Bankrupt. Presently, there are several uh, vloggers that are some of the larger cha travel channels that are down in Mexico right now, covering a lot of the different areas, uh, cities and beach towns and mountainous towns. Bald and Bankrupt, uh, Harold Balder, Drew Binsky, uh, Los LeBlanc was down there recently as well. And so I've got a pretty good feel of what uh, places to go uh, presently. I'll also be talking about some of the places I've been uh, that I've enjoyed in some of the places that I would like to go visit in the future. All right, one of the main cities and the largest city in Mexico is uh, Mexico City. It's actually the second largest city in the Western Hemisphere after St. Paul in Brazil. And it's actually a city that is uh, in a valley. It's surrounded by mountains and volcanoes. So it is prone to flooding. Uh, they do rarely get, they occasionally have gotten snow in the city and more often in the mountains, on the, on the tops of the mountains, they've gotten snow. But it's a, it's a subtropic uh, climate, pretty much year round warm, consistent weather there. Mexico City you could fly into any city of R if you want to, if you're coming from the United States you could fly straight into some of these cities that I've been to. One of them is Cancun a uh, long time ago and actually that is more known for spring break destination. They have a lot of high rises, nightclubs and restaurants. One of my visits years ago I was um, learned about Playa del Carmen and nobody, none of my friends, nobody ever heard of it and this was back in 1998. Playa del Carmen is actually a city is uh, just south of Cancun. When I visited back in 1998 Playa del Carmen, uh, they had one bar, the Blue Parrot, and just a few handful of um, restaurants, no fast food. Like I said before, it's a, it used to be a fishing village. It's actually right across from Cosmel, and there, it, I think it goes, goes past 40th Street right now, but at that time it was around the 7th, 8th, 8th Street, I believe it was. And beautiful, stunning, stunning blue water and, and uh, gorgeous white sand. And it's just a great place for snorkeling uh, and uh, just great food and entertainment too. One 
place I haven't actually been to, and I've been to Playa del Carmen many, many, many times over the last 22 years, is Cosmo. And actually, it is across from Playa. You can take a ferry there, and it's um, really known for cruise ships, and also people come in um, to Playa for, for the afternoon, and uh, Cosmo's real popular about that. But I uh, have not been there, but sometime I guess I will. town I've been to uh, several times is Tulum. So Tulum is a kind of a bohemian beach town. It's not as well known. It's There wasn't much there back in 98 at all. Uh, it's now gotten pretty popular. I've been there. One trip I took, um, I was traveling through Central America for four months and I was in Belize and Key Cochner and took a boat uh, there after New Year's Eve that morning actually and took it over to Mexico and then took a bus over to Tulum. Spent couple weeks there and then went on over to Playa for about a month before heading on back to the United States. That was set the tail end of my trip. But Tulum is uh, their beautiful place. Uh, there's some native Indians still there that do some ceremonial things. There's no high rises. Uh, not that uh, Playa has any really either, They're mostly in Cancun, but uh, it's it's more more rustic, more, well, they have five-star hotels too, but I mean it's more, they try to keep it natural. Another place I haven't been is actually across from Cancun. It's a little island, and I'll try to pronounce it correctly, Isla Morales. It's supposed to be beautiful. Um, it's one of those where I, maybe this winter I'll go check it out and vlog about it, but it's it's not. I think it's like 17 kilometers off the coast. So um, if you have been there before, uh, be sure in the comments down below, tell me about your experience there and your thoughts, if you liked it or didn't like it, and what you did like. All right. Another place in um, in Mexico is Cabo San Lucas, is also known as Baja California. Uh, Sammy Hagar from Van Halen has a restaurant down there. It's real popular with uh, expats that uh, reside there, and they have off the coast. There's a lot of uh, whale spotting too, as well. So it's extremely beautiful. A lot of five-star hotels, but they also have some stuff on the lower end. I'd say it's probably not for the backpacker um, crowd as much but it's a beautiful place to visit, one on my list that I would like to see. The next place on my list to go to is uh, Patrick Cazaro. Uh, maybe pronouncing that incorrectly. It's actually known for Dawn of the Dead. There's a huge lake and it's a ceremonial uh, holiday for Mexico. And it's kind of, uh, I think it's about five hours from Guadalajara. So it's a little bit central, uh, not along the coast there. And it's supposed to be a beautiful town. So it's actually a large town. I think there's, I believe there's about a million people in that town, if I'm not mistaken. So, but it's supposed to be a really pretty city and definitely worth checking out. locations I'd like to go to, not necessarily the last uh, because of desire, but is Chiapas, and that is actually down by Guatemala. It's a relatively poor area, but very, very beautiful, a little bit more remote, um, surrounded by jungles and mountains, um, and it's uh, just supposed to be really picturesque and very stunning. So, as I was saying at the beginning, um, is Mexico safe? Well, the answer is yes. Um, just like any city or whatever certain areas you're going to, and you always be careful um, at night. But uh, one of the cities, even Acapulco, which is supposed to be really dangerous, even some of the people from Mexico say don't go down there. Um, that's been like that for the last few years, but it's gotten a lot 
it's a lot safer now and there's certain areas you don't go into there but if you're staying in the tourist areas you'll be fine so yes all the areas i listed were um, are known to be safe they have over mexico has over 40 million visitors a year so the amount of uh, even the amount of deaths percent wise and crimes and things like that is relatively small well that concludes my trip to mexico and maybe it's one place i'll be this morning Stay tuned to find out, and also be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so, and hit that uh, bell notification to the right there. And also be sure to share with your friends if you're enjoying the videos, and then hit the like button, a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below. Uh, places that you'd like to go to, or suggestions on anything that might help the channel. And also remember, live life barefoot and see you on the beach.